Hello, this is Luke, and in this Revisto training session, we will be focusing on the Revit plugin. When you install Revisto, there will be a Revisto for ribbon inside of your Revit installation. The Revisto for ribbon has five buttons. The first one is Export to Revisto. Before exporting our model from Revit to Revisto, we should set up a Revisto export view. This will be a 3D view, so we'll click the 3D button first in Revit. And in this view, we should disable any section boxes and adjust our visibility graphics settings. to make sure that all categories are visible and probably all work sets and Revit links are also visible. Now, when I say probably, what we are doing here is setting up this view to include all of the geometry, all of the model elements that we want to come across into Revista. Now, sometimes you will want to hide certain things here. For example, you can see that there are some building masses. It would be preferable for us to hide these here and that way we won't see them in the Revisto model. We should name this view Revisto Export because this will help us to find the view when we're setting up our export to Revisto. Now we could optionally enable the section box again around only part of the building. And we could also turn off Revit links if we only wanted to export our own model. This is now ready to export and we should just save our model before exporting. Now clicking on the Revisto 4 ribbon we're going to click export to Revisto. And as this the, is the first export, we are going to create new project. We give the project a name and now we set the appropriate settings for our export. Let's talk through each one of these settings. Now the first tick box here is telling the Revit plugin whether or not to export the 3D geometry. You can see there that we have an export 3D tick box and an export sheets tick box. We can do one or the other or both when exporting to Revisto. If we export both on one occasion and then on the next occasion we ex choose to exclude one of these, the Existing sheets and geometry will remain, will, will remain in the Revisto project and only the things that we tick here will be updated. In this case, let's include the 3D model and the sheets and making sure that we choose the Revisto export view that we set up. The first option here, export viewpoints, will instruct the plugin to create Revisto viewpoints from Revit 3D views. In this case, I do not want this to happen. Export levels will create datum levels in Revisto from Revit level elements. And these will be especially visible in the map view in Revisto. Update materials will ensure that any color and material changes made in the scene are also updated into Revisto. And if we have render appearance ticked here, it will mean that we'll get the rendered view from Revit into Revisto. If we have it unticked, it will bring the shaded view such as we're seeing in the background here. On this occasion, let's 
export the render appearance so that we get all the textures from the Revit scene. Export grids will bring grid lines from Revit into the Revisto map view. Export rooms will add the Revit rooms into the Revisto room list. If we tick phases, then the objects in Revisto will understand which Revit phase they came from and we will be able to filter accordingly. If we have a point cloud linked to Revit and we tick this box, the export point cloud option, then the Revit plugin will harvest the point cloud into Revisto as part of the process. On this occasion, we're going to use all of the settings except excluding viewpoints and excluding the point cloud. Now notice here that we can export sheets and if we hit select, we can choose which sheets we want to export. Let's say we don't want to export these sketches, but we do want to export all of these A series sheets. We can use this box here to filter the sheets by various sheet properties. And we can also use a saved Revit sheet set here by clicking the set option. In this case, we'll manually select them and we'll discuss now these options at the bottom of this dialog box. Export sheets from linked files. If we tick this option, the plugin will investigate any linked models and will ask us if we want to export those as well. As we can see here, some additional sheets have appeared from the structural model that we have linked. So if we want to export also those, we could tick the first one here, hold down shift and click further down the list to select all of them, or we could manually select various sheets. Merge similar sheets from different files. This will make sure that we don't end up with duplicated sheets in the Revisto 2D sheet list, and it will use an internal ID from the Revit sheet to overwrite existing versions of a sheet. The parallel sheet export option can be used from Revit 2019 onwards and can potentially speed up the process. In this instance, we won't use it. Export sheet coordinates only is part of the process where we can feed Revisto sheets from the docs integration. So we won't use that option now. We're now going to click save because we've selected our sheets. We've nominated all of our options here. And the very important setting here is the coordinate system. Now, depending on your project, you may be using shared coordinates or an origin to origin system. If shared coordinates are used consistently across all of your models, including Navisworks uh, and IFC files and so on, we should generally use the shared coordinates option. I'm now going to press export. During the export process, the Revit plugin collects the model, the sheets, any other options that we chose like grids and levels and rooms and caches them all into a brand new Revista project on our machine. When the export has finished, Revisto will open up and we will now see our Revisto model here that has been exported from Revit. Let's briefly review the things that we are seeing in this model. Firstly, we can see the textures because we selected the render appearance option. If we go to the map view, we can see a list of levels that are coming from Revit. We can see an overlaid grid here and as we zoom in, we can see room names also coming from Revit. If we click the room icon, we see a list of all of the Revit rooms. If we click on the 2D area, we see the Revit sheets 
organized by their actual link model. In the first case, the main or host architectural model and its sheets and the linked model and the sheets we exported from that one. Let's now go back to Revit and look further at the Revit plugin. Back in Revit, on the Revisto 4 ribbon, if we make some future changes to this model, it will remember which Rev Revisto project it has already been linked to. What we mean to say is, if we have adjusted the model somehow and we want to re-export it, we can go back to the Revisto 4 export to Revisto option. And you can see there that it remains linked to the same project with all the previous settings set. And we can simply press export again to update the Revisto model. Also, we can set up this project to be exported automatically using the export scheduler. If I click that button, it also remembers all of the settings we used from our export, but we have some additional options. We can choose to suppress various model errors, which will ultimately allow the export to proceed, regardless of some problems that may occur in Revit. We can choose which day we want to export this particular model and at what time of the day. Once these settings have been set and we press OK, some instructions will have been created in the Revisto scheduler interface. If we have this machine switched on and logged in, then at the uh, nominated time, Revisto will open the scheduler it will open up Revit, it will open this project, export the model, and it will sync it to cloud. So that is the export scheduler. Let's now have a look at the switchback functions between Revit and Revisto. Firstly, let's assume we are reviewing various things in Revisto. As a model reviewer, I may have some comment about this element, so I create an issue around that element with the Create Issue button and provide some appropriate markups. This issue then gets assigned to the Revit modeler. Now as a Revit modeler, I'll open my Revit model and click the Issue Tracker. The effect of clicking the issue tracker is that Revisto and Revit are now essentially in sync. I'll put them side by side now so you can see how the switchback works. So we're in the Revisto issue tracker and all we're going to do is simply double click on that issue. And on the Revit side, a new 3D view has been created that has the same section box applied. Now with this particular view, we can make some adjustments to it. Ultimately, we are just changing some of the visibility settings of this automatically created Revisto isometric view. If we proceed to do some other work in either Revit or Revisto, perhaps creating another Revisto issue. When we select that issue in Revisto, it takes us to the same view in Revit. This switchback function works in both directions. Let's demonstrate that. Let's assume now that we are doing some reviews in the Revit environment. Perhaps there is an issue with this roof. In Revit, as you are probably aware, you can select some elements and use the selection box option to section around those elements. Now from Revit, 
we're going to go to the Revisto 4 ribbon and click New Issue. On the Revisto side, a snapshot has been taken and we can use Revisto markup tools on that particular snapshot. When we click Done, we see there's a new issue in the Issue Tracker. And if we click on 3D, we can view that same issue in the Revisto 3D environment. So the switchback functions work from Revit to Revisto or vice versa. We've demonstrated that in 3D, but it also works in 2D. Looking at 2D sheets now in Revisto, let's assume we are doing a review and using some stamps to mark up some problems with this drawing. Now in the issue tracker, if we double click on that particular issue, on the Revit side, it's going to take us to the appropriate sheet where we can make the necessary changes and solve that issue. Again, this works in both directions. If I'm now in Revit looking at a drawing and I would like to mark it up in Revisto, I can click the New Issue button and you can see here on the Revisto side, it has switched back to the appropriate Revit sheet where I can do the markups that are necessary. So we can see here how simple the switchback functions are between Revit and Revisto. We've now looked at how to export to Revisto, the export scheduler, how to sync our Revisto and Revit scenes, and how to create new issues from Revit. The final button on the ribbon here is the link settings option. This is, exists in case we want to link uh, this Revit project to a different Revisto project. We simply click the link settings button choose change link and we can choose a different Revisto project for this Revit project to sync with. I'm now going to save my Revit model again and this particular Revisto project this work that we've been doing has been cached locally you can see that the sync button is white indicating we can publish this project to the cloud now so I'm now going to click the sync button to upload the model to the cloud. And we can click the share button, enter some email addresses, set the permissions and invite the users to view this project. Thank you for listening to this Revisto training session where we focused on the Revit plugin.